The main aim of the shock project was to bring uh, the social sciences and humanities community together. Well, I would really say that uh, shock has produced a fantastic uh, uh, range and array of uh, different tools for all sorts of uh, uh, social science and humanities researchers. And one of the things that we wanted to do with this project is actually make sure that people can find materials and reuse materials and trainings. But that you have a tool that allows you to interact uh, with these questionnaires. Many organizations came together uh, to work um, in shock on common products, on common tools, on common services, on common outputs relevant for uh, social sciences and humanities. So at the moment in the marketplace so you have a bit more than uh, 5,000 uh, resources. The shock project would offer us an opportunity to talk to the colleagues from the other research infrastructures. You know, bringing together different research cultures. And even between the clusters there was a, a, a lot of chemistry. Next step is to move forward so we become the shock open cluster. Our community is deeply involved. We encourage everyone to sign up when they can and participate. Uh, so we meet in shock people who we otherwise wouldn't have met. We had the chances to discuss about uh, the next steps, uh, the sustainability of the clusters. It, it's not an, an ending of the project. It, it continues the, the, the community that we've built uh, and it also aims to, to maintain the tools and services that we've created uh, over the course of the 40 months. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure.